Hi, my name is Colin. I'm a physiotherapist at Orthopedic Rehabilitation Institute, Coorthus in Peterborough, Ontario. We're going to talk a little bit about how to use a cane today. So this is a typical adjustable cane that can be bought fairly inexpensively at many retailers. So you unscrew the little snap there, and then you can easily adjust it by pushing in the silver button and sliding it up and down. Typically the way that you want to size a cane for most people's height is look at where your wrist bends. Sometimes we have a few little wrinkles there, either on the front or the back, look at where it bends and then if you're standing up to your normal full height, right where your wrist bends should be where the, the bend in the cane or the handle of the cane is. So after you have it appropriately sized, and you know, if it's not comfortable, if it feels a little bit too tall or too small, you can bring it up or down a level. Canes can be used for many reasons, for balance or to take a little bit of, of pressure off a, off a leg or after a surgery or injury. Um, so typically people think that, you know, if my right leg was injured, I would use the cane on my right side. This often leads to people leaning very heavily on that right side and can lead to, you know, wrist or shoulder pain on the right arm. It's much easier to lean away instead of pushing the weight off the injured leg. So in this case, my injured leg would be the leg with the blue shoe right here. Um, and in this case, I'm going to put the cane in my right hand on the opposite side of the injured limb or surgical limb. To start with walking with a cane, it is important to make sure you have adequate balance to walk with a cane and you may want to work with your physiotherapist, doctor or surgeon to ensure that you won't have a fall moving from a walker or from not walking at all to moving with a cane and make sure that you reduce any chance of further injuries. Take the first step small and slow and usually you can start with moving the injured leg and then just catching up to the position of the cane with your uninjured leg. This is rather slow though, and a more typical way to walk with a cane is to step through then with the uninjured leg. So then you'll notice how the cane moves at the same swing and speed as my blue shoe left injured leg. Take your first step slow and this should give you a starter. If you're having any issues then you should work with your physiotherapist or doctor to make sure you're using correctly.